Okay, the problem I want to solve in this video is a problem of controlling devices together. In other words, I've got some dimmers in the center of my uh, device management page here, and I want them all to go to the same dim level at the same time. And I know in Home Sierra, I've got a very powerful event engine. If I want to, I can create an event that controls them all to the same level. I can say at 4.30 in the afternoon, turn all the you know, turn all the dimmers to 53%. That's easy to do. But let's say I want to always have them in sync with each other. So if I go and I control one of these devices and I set it to a dim level of 26%, I want the other ones to go to 26% uh, at the same time. How do I do that? Well, in Homeseer, the event engine, the standard event engine, doesn't provide for that. So it's something that I would normally have to do by writing a script. Well, problem is I'm not a programmer, so writing a script isn't all that intuitive for me. Um, so how do I do it? Well, we have a new feature in HS3 that allows me to link devices together. So let's say, for example, when I control the picture window lamp here and I set that to 26%, I can have that linked to the outside light and have that outside light controlled uh, to 26%. Now, what happens if I control, if I create that link and I control the outside light uh, is nothing because the outside light isn't linked back to the picture window lamp. So I would have to create um, two different links. I'd have to go in and link the picture window lamp to the outside light. Then I have to link the outside light back to the picture window lamp. But again, I don't want to do that. I want to do all of the lights, um, these four different lights all at the same time. So how do I do that? Well, turns out you can do it by creating a kind of a daisy chain kind of a link. So I can link the picture window lamp to the outside light. I can then create a link from the outside light to the hutch lamp, another one from the hutch lamp to the floor lamp, and then bringing it back home, I'll create a link from the floor lamp back to the picture window lamp. If I do that, it should work fine. Well, here's how you do it. You drill into, I'm going to go into the picture window lamp first, and at the bottom of the configuration screen, there's this uh, linked device field. I'm just going to open that up, and I'm going to link that to the outside light, which is right there. Okay, let's say done to that. So right now, I'm linking this one to that one. If I control the dim level on this one, it should automatically set the other one, and it does. The other one, uh, the first one was 32, now the second one's 32. So that worked really well. If I turn the picture window lamp off, it should also, yeah, and it does, it turns the outside light off as well. Now, as I said, if I control the outside light, it'll turn the outside light on, but it doesn't have that link back. So if I wanted to, like I say, once again, I can come in here and I can link this to the picture window lamp. Oops, I went by it. Picture window lamp. Okay, so let me turn it off again and control it. Okay, both are at 25% and I can turn either one of them off now and it'll turn the other one off. So that works really well. Well, again, I want to do all four lights. So let's let's figure out how to do this. So I've, I'm linking the picture window lamp to the outside light. So I need to go in and change the outside light link to the hutch lamp. So let me do that. Okay. And I want to link the hutch lamp to the floor lamp. And I want to link the uh, floor lamp back to the picture window lamp. So that should be the last link that I have to put in there.
Okay, so any one of them now I should be able to turn on to a particular dim level and it'll, yep, it'll adjust all the other ones. So I just controlled the hutch lamp. Let me go and control the outside light. Yep, and that changes all of them. Go back down here to the picture window lamp. And finally, let's come up to the floor lamp. Boom. <laughs> Pretty cool. So here's a way to synchronize all the lights. Uh, I mean, I'm doing it in a common area. This is all in the living room so that they all adjust to the same dim level or turn on or off together. And I'm doing this without an event and I'm doing this without scripting. So um, I think that's a really cool feature. I hope you do too. Thanks. Bye.